Hi everyone, I just wanted to go through an alternative to um, the example 15 in exercise 3G. Now mainly because um, we talked about standardising it here, if you remember, where we apply the, the coding to the data. And you learnt back in 3D and 3E that standardising is really helpful when you have unknown parameters of mu or sigma. But if you know the parameters of mu or sigma, you don't need to standardise. You can just use this function on the calculator. So let me just point something out to you here on the, if I go back to it, distribution menu and normal cumulative, uh, sorry, no, inverse normal, um, option three there. Imagine for a second that I haven't done the standardization here and instead I'm sticking with this here for D bar and I want to know what value, not on the standard normal distribution, but on this distribution, what value gives me um, an area of 0 0.005 above and below. So I kind of wanted to keep it on the same screen here. I'm hoping that I won't scribble too much and confuse it for you. But I wanted you to see an alternative. And we're going to do that in this blue colour. Um, and now I'm regretting writing two tell test in so much space there because I want the space. But never mind. What we're doing is we're sticking with D bar. And we're taking this normal distribution with a mean as 0 0.580. And I want to know what's that value and what's that value here bearing in mind that area is 0 0.005 and this area is 0 0.005 so let's find this one first so the area 0 0.005 and um, the value of sigma is this but square rooted so um, we've got 0 0.015 divided by square root of 50 and the value of mu is 0 0.580 that gives me this value here as 0 0.5745. And ta-da, that's what we got there. Let's do the same at the upper end. But this time, don't forget it's the area less than. So it's um, 1 minus 0 0.005, so 0 0.995. Keeping the same parameters. And that gives me 0 0.5855. And Tada again, that's the same value as that one there. Now, obviously, that is a lot more straightforward than doing the whole standardization process to find these, but you have to know how to do the standardization process because you have to use this process when you have unknowns for mu or sigma because you can't put unknowns into here. You have to put numbers in. So if you know the values of mu and sigma, just use your calculator with them. If you don't know either of them, then you have to use the standardisation process. I hope that makes sense. Um, good luck and we'll see you soon.